Okay, so let's create our function from scratch here. Create function dbo.ufn and we'll call it customer get address and we'll accept ID as an integer and we'll return a variable character with a length of uh, I don't know we'll call it 100 hopefully we won't truncate the address oops and that's actually returns and then that will be as the following statement begin and just so we don't forget end and we're going to declare a variable uh, at address as a variable character got to spell character right with the length of 100 and then we will select at address equal to uh, I think the field was just called address in the customers table right address yes to address from customers where ID equals the ID parameter that was passed in and then we'll do a return of the address that we just retrieved and F5 to execute. Command completed successfully. We'll open uh, a new query window and we'll do select Oops. star comma uh, what was our function called? grab the function name from there dbo dot ufn customer get address open parenthesis and we'll do uh, the ID column from customers So you can see here the results of our get customer function. Now I'm running that in line in the select statement. So for each row in the customer's table, it's executing this function. But we can also run that function standalone. And instead of using the ID column, we can give it a specific customer ID like customer uh, ID number 100 and select actually and there we have just the address for customer number 100 uh, the other customers have no addresses so if we use 200 we'll just get a null back so that is a scalar user-defined function